Hey everybody, my name is Kita Moore, and welcome back for another video of Life is Strange True Colors. We're gonna continue this series, boys. We only have two different places to go. The record store first with Steph, and afterwards we got the flower shop. We gotta try and figure out where the hell is it. There it is, there's the flower shop. Okay, I just found it, boys. I'm gonna take a look with Steph really quick. What uh, she did want to, to see me, just like Charlotte, we already talked with her, convinced her to take the money. Uh, for Eden, and uh, forget about the whole Gabe situation, doesn't matter. What does matter though, is uh, me talking to Steph once again. She did want to see Steph me, so me let's find by. out really quick what's She's going on here. around here somewhere. So you got some uh, comp book, what Looks is, what like is in there? Steph might be working on a new project. Oh, uh, that's her new project and stuff, right? Uh, let's read the new comic. It's a brand new comic and everything from Eden. Alright, you left it right there. Uh, there's a sign. Helpful. Okay, so she's on a break and stuff. She wanted to see me, but she's on a break. That's probably why she wanted to see me, actually. Now it makes sense. Comics, there's a hoodie guy. What is he thinking? How could Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. It's hard to beat breakup music. But maybe I can find something around here to cheer him up. Well, looks like he broke up with somebody. Let me just... Uh, is she in there? Oh, there she is. She's in the record booth. I can't believe he ordered that record. All right, so uh, let's knock really quick. She did want to see us. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? Not really, no. He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like costumes, foam swords, that kind of thing? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. G good idea, I guess. We could do that. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help, though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? The most fun one to defeating? I'm not sure. Let's find out really quick. Storm Rider the Undead or Cravius Lord of the Underworld? Uh, well, the, the one on the left looks a lot more badass, I'm not gonna lie. But he seems more, if we talk in terms of uh, RPGs, he seems more like uh, an easy boss fight, to be honest. He seems like an easy boss fight to get. Um, unfortunately, the Underworld one le looks a lot less badass, but he looks like the type of guy who would be super annoying to fight. Uh, Cravius, I'm thinking if we want a hard boss, we want to go with Cravius right here. Feel like it's the best option. Cravius looks pretty badass. Go with that. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. It'd be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. Wait, are we literally building a story right here? A co whole comic book. Well, we chose our villain. Let's hey, find out what are we sir? gonna choose right here. Let's read it. So yeah, we already know all of that, I'm guessing. So all of this is good. Do we have anything else to do? All right. So it uh, looks like we, uh, we're good right here. We did what we had to do. I guess I can leave now. That's interesting. I mean, we're building a whole comic book and stuff. Okay. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Uh, let me see. Uh, we got uh, some messages. So, uh, Steph. All right, so thanks again for coming by anytime. All right, so that was it. Okay, so that's all she wanted to tell me. Well, one last place to go at, I'm guessing. And that is the flower shop. Why can't I go to these places, man? Look at that. Avalanche ice cream? I don't get it. That'd be shitting me, People ice cream woman. not want ice cream anymore? We're losing our business. But it's like, everything's a joke to him. But you're she losing your business? So not the ice cream life. business. Come on now. Piratey Peaches is making us to keep up a brave face for Angela. She loves our store so much. He must be exhausted. Hope they figure it out. Damn, so he want to close it out. What, like what the hell? 
Look, Souls, the only ice cream place in the whole town. You gotta be shitting me, man. That's an important place. I don't go there myself. Alright, uh, flower shop. Let's enter it already. Maybe we can find Mac in there. Let's uh, remember as well, boys, that uh, at the very beginning, one of the beginnings at least, we when we talked to Mac, we protected him from uh, his secret and stuff. Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> so he still has Sorry. a girlfriend because of us. <laughs> no need to apologize. So he does have something How are you, dear? Uh, to deliver us uh, in terms of that. Oh. I'm, um... I'm okay. I'm doing just fine. I'm okay, I guess. Taking it one moment at a time. It's the best way to be. This is awkward. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Now, what was I? Hmm. Is she okay? She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. What you mean? I can't leave her like this. I'm leaving. Oh, come on now. I'm terrified of her. Why is she scared of? What the fuck is going on here? Girl, you better tell me what's going on right now. You're you're disturbing my uh, my peace. going on here boys what is okay. she scared of time to figure out why she's afraid why is she afraid uh the cash register maybe oh my memories, oh, my are, memories fading. are fading i feel, I feel broken. broken amnesia i guess boys that's probably what she got what about uh anything else can i go here oh yeah i can probably find out some stuff I like how I can just go in here without her literally start trying to stop me. She can't find out. Okay, yeah, she's literally uh, she's got amnesia, boys. All right, that's uh, that's unfortunate. I'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free. That's interesting. That's quite depressing, actually. She's losing uh, her memory. Anything else? The books uh, or the, the flowers? Doctor said I had said more time, had time, but everything, everything is becoming, becoming so, so out, of, out order. of order. What else? Like anything else I gotta look into right here? What about the door? Actually, there, there's that. If they know if they about know my, condition, my condition. They'll make me close make this place. Me close. Shit. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't enter the mind of a woman that literally is losing our memories. Maybe we shouldn't do that because we're just gonna start losing our memory ourselves. What the fuck is going on? This is not good, boys. Well, what just happened right here, boys? This is really not good right now. I'm guessing that's what she's scared of, literally losing everything. It's not just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? All right, well, I'm not sure how I can help her, to be honest. Forget what you were working on? <laughs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Just retrace your steps. That's the best way to do it. Just go back to exactly where you went a moment ago. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could 
help you retrace your steps. Oh, I, I don't want to keep you. <sighs> hey. I... I want to help. What is the first thing you did, my girl? What would Eleanor have done first? First thing she would have done? Coming by here? The cash register, obviously. She's you gotta look at the money. when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. Obviously. I would have done that last night. What? You're supposed to do that during your end and beginning of your shift. What are you slacking, my girl? What the fuck? Uh, maybe the flowers? Did you trim these flowers today? You don't have to do this. I'll be all right on my own. Are you really gonna hey. be all right? I'm not going. I'm anywhere. having a hard time to follow myself, boys. I'm not, I'm, I'm really dumb. I'm probably the worst person ever to try and find out what she did first. Maybe the phone, probably. Did you maybe call someone? I can't say for sure. She can't say. What well, about the photo then? Did anything happen with Riley? I... Uh, I don't know. Alright, well, uh, this is, uh, frustrating. Oh, you know what? That is the first thing she's gonna do. That's pretty obvious. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in. And then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. You didn't open your mail. We can do this. If she didn't do the mail, that means she got distracted. Which means she got either a call or Riley came by. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. It's obviously Riley. It's gotta be. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Oh, goodness. What was the order for? Alright, well, there we go, boys. Starting to retrace our memories a little bit. And then, once that was done, I imagine you just did the flowers then? Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. And who ordered them? Well... It's gotta be in the cash register then, that's the last thing, right? The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. Should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh. Alright, so that's pretty much it. We got everything. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. Well, there we go. Now you remember everything. I knew you'd figure it out. And I'm getting better at this. I couldn't have done it without you. Seriously, Alex. You're a godsend. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God. Ah, oh, she doesn't remember. She doesn't remember. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, I, I'll just tell her again, I guess. They were... They were for Gabe's wake. Gabe's wake? All over Gabe's again. Gabe's wake? I... 
missed it. Alex. I'm... I'm so sorry. Hey, it's... Um... Excuse me. <laughs> Okay, that sucked. But at least I told her the truth. You gotta tell them the truth, boys. When they are amnesiac like that, you gotta tell them the truth. To be honest, I got a, a lot of old people, like a lot of grandpa, uh, grandmothers and stuff like that in my real life that uh, have amnesia, ongoing amnesia or have one. And uh, they died from that, obviously, and they're still having a tough time, those that are still alive. And I know all about it. I know what effects it does, boys. And it's um, it's truly a devastating thing. Eleanor it's more Mac devastating than cancer for me. It's a serious problem. Here. And it should be Maybe fixed. It's something really that I take personally uh, really ca uh, taken care of. You know, it's really important that you do re remind that person that's having that tr problem. You try and always come back. You got to be there really often. Uh, if you're not there often enough, they're just gonna literally forget about you. You're gonna, they're gonna forget you exist really altogether up. eventually. Yeah. So it's a very, it's a, it's a, it's a tricky situation, boys. I'm not gonna lie. In the morning, very tricky situation. Works Nothing like we charm. can do about it uh, in this game, though. I mean, we're not very familiar with Eleanor, and she's just gonna keep forgetting now she already forgot about the whole gate situation which means in no time she's gonna probably end up forgetting about me altogether so uh that's that's gonna be rough uh, we've got riley over here i want to see if mac is anywhere near here let me talk with uh, riley maybe she knows something if he's innocent why is he acting like this acting like what maybe i can get her to tell me Interesting. Let's uh, let's ask her something. Maybe she knows hey, a thing or two. Alex. Hey. Uh, what about uh, what about Mac? That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of them, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Think Mac's telling the truth? Do you think he's telling the truth about the call? That Gabe never made it? No, I... I it's not that... I... Sorry, I'm really not ready to talk about it. He's acting really weird. Yeah, I get it. It's just... If he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? Playing on our own mind, boys. He asked me to leave Haven with him. All right. Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. He definitely has something to hide if he wants to leave right away. I told him I had to think about it, but... Alex, I... I'm scared. He did something horrible. Riley... Thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. Uh, do you know anything about Eleanor, my girl? You know her situation, right? You gotta be there for her. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. <laughs> I think she just wants me to end up happy. 
That's sweet. Uh, will she be all right? Will she be all right without you? She's a tough cookie, but I do worry about her sometimes. She's getting older. One day I'll have to take care of her. One day you need to take care of I her know, right now. You have you not seen what I saw? The world. Yeah. To both of us. I gotta run. Gotta go. I don't care about Gabe. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. Yo, Riley is truly cl clearless about Eleanor, boys. The fuck's going on here? We'll talk soon. Why the hell would she not try to help yeah. her right now? Uh, we got a bunch of SMS. Doesn't matter. Whenever you want. Let's open the gate. Maybe he's yeah. in here? It's closed, obvi obviously. Damn. Maybe there's something around here I can use to Why get it open. Why do we want to open this, though? What could be back there? I don't there? know what could be back there. I guess we can open it. Uh, open the gate with the uh, gravitory. I don't know who's in there, who's hiding. Could be Eden, or it could be, for some reason, Mac trying to hide. I'm not sure what's going on here. I've broken into places for less. All right, well, let's break into a place, boys. All right, what's in here? What are we doing here? We're breaking into places, boys. Uh, what is this? Wagon wheel? Yee. And I cannot stress this enough. Ha. There's nothing in here? Why did we break in in this place, man? Okay, there's literally nothing in here. Why the hell we do, did we do that for then? Let me see real quick. What's the objective? Search for Mac near the flower shop. Where is Mac? Is he on this side or something? Got a message from Eleanor. Alex, I'm so sorry about before. I did really appreciate your help. I ju it just hit me hard. It's all good, uh, Eleanor. He was near the flower shop. Oh, there he is. I'm so fucked. Can't hide from me forever. Alright, Mac. Mac, I need to talk to you, buddy. Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. I'm really sorry he died. And I appreciate that you... You didn't out me to Riley the other night, but I can't talk to you. You gotta talk to me at some point, my guy. I need closure. I need to find out what's going on. I get that you're afraid. I get it. He died on your shift, and you're freaked. But you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell, tell you. Me. It's not gonna Matt. surprise me. Come on, come man. On. You can trust me. I haven't thrown you to Riley for a reason. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. If I could just push him over the edge. What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Now nah, there's nothing I want to do, boys. Uh, I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay, let's do this. I got Riley to tell me about your plans to leave town. That's not something innocent people do. Oh God. It's not... I didn't do anything. Alright, what is he scared of? <sighs> Fuck off! Leave me alone! He's running away. He's scared of something. Let's find out what he's scared of, boys. What is this, Inception? Everybody looking at me? That is literally my fear in real life, boys. Everybody literally looking at me. That's how I feel every time I walk outside. That's crazy. You guys are literally getting a, a view, my a first hand view of um, how I feel. Every time I walk outside with too many people around me.
That's how I feel, boys. I feel like I'm being looked at every every second. Very uncomfortable. Fuck. I'll deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I, do. I can. Let's find out. There's a camera right here. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. What? He's scared of Typhoon? Is that it? I'm guessing that's what's going on right here. He's just scared. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. Interesting. Uh, so he sees things that are not there. And uh, that's a very scary thing to do. It should have been you instead. Alex? Yeah, yeah, get the fuck out of the way from me, man. You're scaring me. Oh, shit. This is getting dark real quick. No, what the hell? There are people out there. No, I told you to call it off. I saw the way they looked at me at the wake. They all think I let him die. Don't be afraid, Mac. It's okay. I know why you're lying. You made a mistake. Typhoon is pressuring you. Typhoon's forcing you to deny the call. What the fuck? Don't take the fault for that. Yeah, it's their fault, not yours. I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. They are trying to cover up their tracks, huh? You gotta believe me. Cave and I... We didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer. My neighbors all hate me. I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down, but of course he, he deserves it. it. You gotta take pity for him. Calm him down. He's a good dude. He really got clearly got manipulated, and he's All right. it's not his fault. Mac. None of this is his fault, boys. Come on, you gotta calm down, okay, dude? Stay with me. It's okay, Mac. You're, everything's gonna be fine, buddy. I know what it's like to be doubted, to have everyone think the worst of you, but the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. You're not a bad dude. I know of it. But Typhon. If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have exactly. to go through Exactly. You're gonna me have too, to okay? go through me first. I'm here to protect you, buddy. <sighs> Thanks. I actually feel a little better. <laughs> yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> So, I guess I gotta try and that. cover whatever is going on with Typhoon, boys. Don't leave Haven. I'm gonna get to the truth. Maybe we can work together on this, Mac. I mean, this old Typhoon situation, trying to cover up their tracks after trying to kill us on purpose. Seems very bad, boys. I don't know why that company would do that, but that seems very bad. <sighs> Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. 
All right, I think this is a good place to end it, boys. We're gonna end it right here. I do feel a lot of pity for uh, Mac. He's getting all the blame and obviously he didn't do shit. I already knew all about that from the second I met him that uh, he didn't want to hurt Gabe. He was mad at him, mad enough to attack him in my own house. But that doesn't mean he wants to kill him. I mean, who would think that? Obviously, who would be out of their mind as to think that he would want to kill him? No, absolutely not. Obviously, Mac is a troubled person. He needs help. And I'm here to give him the help he needs. Clearly, that's all he needs. Just like Eleanor, just like Riley, anybody else, Mac deserves as much help as anybody else, boys. That's the type of person I am, you know, in real life and everything. I'm trying to help as many people as I can. I'm not here to judge anyone and I'm not here to make anybody feel bad about uh, anything really, you know? Whatever they did, I'm sure it's not as fucked up as it sounds, you know? So remember to leave a like and subscribe to the video. I'll see you guys uh, for the next one. Keep it easy.